doing all right. How's everyone doing? Just shout out to you. Everybody else seems cool. Shucky! I didn't say. Eat your popcorn. <laughs> and your Coca Cola and relax. <laughs> anyway, tell Colin. I'm ready. What's going on? How's everybody doing? This is Colin. Hope you guys are having a great day. Yeah, this is the second time I'm recording this. The first time I didn't hit the record button. For everyone out there, if you don't hit the record button, it doesn't record. Anyways, Judge Middleton sends this dude to jail, and then I'm bringing him back. I don't have anything else to say. Before I hit that play button, you know what to do. Hit the like and subscribe to your drum kick backflips. Let's go. Mr. Chris, the allegation is that on or about March 29th, you assaulted Michael Kurth in Three Rivers. It's a misdemeanor punishable by up to 93 days in jail and a fine of up to $500. How do you plead to that charge? Before I plead, I'd like to have it put on the record that they're, uh, for the alleged actions, they're trying to charge me twice. They're trying to charge me with an assault and battery as well as violating restraining order for the same actions. Well, they can do that. Why? It's two different things. But it's the same action, isn't that double jeopardy? No. Uh, let's say you have a trespass order and you're not supposed to trespass on a piece of property mm -hmm. and you enter into the property and punch somebody. Well, they can charge you with trespassing and the assault. So yes. I'm assuming you wish to plead not guilty that's, then? But that's violating two different laws. I supposedly violated with the same action. It wasn't two different things. They're trying to charge me with the same action for two different cases. That's not, I mean. All right, well, if you want a lawyer, I'll get you one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, I didn't do anything anyways, but from what they said that, from the affidavit that they gave me, the action. Who has the restraint, which judge has the restraining order? Um, Patterson. I have a, a right now, not an arraignment. I mean, I guess it'd be a preliminary exam conference tomorrow morning with him. Because they're saying I violated the restraining order by assaulting him. Okay. Well, all right. We'll sort that out. Set attorney pretrial for July 12th, 2024. Mr. Chris owes $1,175 worth of unpaid fines and costs. He has a controlled substance case from 2021 where he owes $175. He has a defective equipment case where he owes $125. He has a previous assault and battery, 221627, where he owes $275. He has disturbing the peace where he got the minimum fine of $125. He hasn't paid that, 222147. And he has a felony resisting and obstructing reduced to a misdemeanor attempted resisting and obstructing. He was $475 and he hasn't paid anything on that. So why don't you please take Mr. Christ into custody? Are you, can I'll we, review can all we these. please talk about this? Yeah, you go I, back into jail and I'll- you I have back, my vehicle go, outside and stuff though. Yeah, okay, you go back here. And I'll talk to you in a little bit. Today? Yeah, right now. You're going into lockup. No, I'm at, I, I'm, are you going to talk to me today? Yeah. Just... You keep getting charged with assault crimes, and then you don't pay any of the fine. I, I, uh, I have, well, I, yep, yep, yep. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Uh, Judge Milton's not happy. We don't get to see an angry Judge Milton very often. He's always calm. Not always, I guess. It can't be always when it's sometimes, right? He's usually calm. We don't see this very often. And I, I do like to see this side of him every once in a while. I get a lot of comments about how soft Judge Milton is. I don't agree. 
I don't agree with him being soft. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. I'm, I'm not going to critique him. I think he does a good job. He's been on the bench a long time. He does a good job protecting his community. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, Mr. Probably should have paused 10 seconds ago, or probably should not have paused 10 seconds ago and just paused now. He's coming back. This is the exact same day. This is an hour later, maybe two hours later. I don't remember the exact time frame, but he brings him back, sends that dude to jail, brings him back. I was sentencing at 10 30. If you felt disrespect anyway, I apologize. I was just trying to ask questions. I wasn't disagreeing or trying to be disrespectful. I was just trying to ask questions. All right, thanks. Stop talking about your case, please. I know he wasn't talking about his case, but just stop talking, man. No one asked you anything. Just walk up. You don't run the courtroom. You don't even know why. I don't even think he understands why Judge Milton has put him in jail. It wasn't because he was talking. It had nothing to do with what he was saying. I just wanted to clear the decks while we take care of the other stuff. This is a return to Joseph Christ. He was here on an assault and battery case. He pled not guilty. I appointed an attorney for him and filed 24779SM and uh, set it for a pretrial for July 12th. Mr. Christ has had a bunch of other cases over the years. And I tried to deal with a bunch of these probably in 2023. It filed 211409FY. You were charged with felony possession of methamphetamine. It was reduced to a misdemeanor use of methamphetamine as a probation violation. Judge Patterson gave you 60 days in jail, and there was a $175 fine left over, which you were to pay on a payment plan. Uh, you had an assault and battery where you did 29 days in jail and you owed $275. I think that was Judge Patterson. And you were on the same payment plan. You were gonna pay $50 every two weeks. Then you had a disturbing the peace uh, in file 222147 and you owed $125 and on a payment plan. And then I saw you in January on a felony resisting obstructing a police officer reduced to a misdemeanor attempt. I put you a payment plan on all four of these, plus there's an unpaid traffic ticket. And as far as I can tell, you never made one payment um, um, from January. I was, while working at Little Caesars from uh, March of last year up till december i was making payments every every check you said you wanted fifty dollars every check and i was doing that for months well let's take a look i i made several payments and i i had them down pretty low and then i ended up losing my job they transferred well me you made some payments yeah i was paying they said i had them down pretty low at least for the i from what they told me in the office. Well, that was 50, then we reduced it to 20. And you did make some payments. And then in January, you stopped paying. Right after I lost my job. I, they transferred me as 30 and I just couldn't make the commute and they didn't really care that I couldn't make the commute. Basically, you know, they didn't want to transfer me back to Three Rivers. And Well, where are you living now? Um, I pretty much stay in my car. I mean, I park at my mom's in, on 3rd Street in Three Rivers, but I pretty much stay in my car. There's not really room for me at her house, and I'm not trying to overload her, so I just pretty much stay in my car. Are you working someplace? No, but on um, the 6th of June, I, there's a WSI job fair they told me to attend, and they said that as long as I come there with two forms of ID, that they'll, they will have me a job that day. They said I just have to be there. You're right. You did make a number of payments. We reduced it from 50 to 20. And then you stopped paying and we sort of lost track of you. So I'm not going to do anything. I'll just say I reminded you, okay. Thank you. of the 
payment plan. We're going to talk about it again on July 12th. So I want to see if you start to make payments by July 12th. At $20, $20 payments? Well, $20 is better than none. Okay, I just, I just wasn't sure what the minimum yeah, had There's to be. a lot of money spread over a bunch of different files. Uh, that's what was so confusing to me about it because they told me one case, was, they said it was almost done and then they said that one was at zero and I asked them what that meant and they said that was just one of them that was included in the grouping of it or whatever. But I will definitely go do something and find an odd job or something and get a payment made before it buys well. All right, Mr. Chris, you're good to go. Uh, yeah, you still need to go out to the counter regarding your code appointed counsel. I get these shackles off. Yeah. All right, all right. I know. Put him in jail and then let him go. Well, yeah, I'm not going to comment on it. Judge Middleton, keep up the good work. I know you work hard behind the bench. You're going to get some comments about you being soft in this case. Just saying. But I hope you're having a great weekend, Judge Milton. Hopefully you get on the lake in Michigan. Hope you guys all have a great evening. And I will catch you all tomorrow. Until next time. Bye. All right, Keith. I think that's it. Hmm? You got any other polys or not? I don't think so. Uh, let's see if Shana sent me something. Can I get my keys back to my car too? Yeah, I'll get you. Go to the witch counter. Right out here, and they'll get your court appointed attorney for you.